So I'm coming to you today because I have a whole ton of stuff to haul and there is no way that I can do this in a single video. <laughs> There's no way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into more than one video. It's a lot. So I hope that you enjoy haul videos because this is one of them. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back to Oblong Polka Dots. My name is Kerr, and this is a haul video. Let's jump right into it. Um, this haul is from a place in Seattle called Fred Meyer. Um, it's kind of like Meyer's in the Midwest, and I don't know what it would be equivalent to on the East Coast, but uh, it's just a, what did I grab? I think this is strictly makeup that I grabbed. So. I'm in the middle of doing a lot of decluttering with my collection because there's a lot of stuff I have that I used for a really long time and loved, but the makeup is just really, really old. So it's time for me to go ahead and uh, replace some items. And then also, there's just a lot of makeup that I'm throwing away because it's no more good. And it's something that either is not sold anymore or um, I wouldn't have replaced it anyways. So. Let's just jump right into this haul. So this, like I said, is a haul from Fred Meyer in Seattle. And let me see if I can hold this up without dropping it. This is everything that I got. There are definitely new products in here I've never tried before, but there's a couple of oldie but goodies in here. So um, I'm going to start off with the oldie but goodies. So at Fred Meyer, they now sell a brand called Black Radiance. And Black Radiance has been around forever, but specifically, they sell these blushes that I absolutely love. Um, and I have two of these shades already. One's a bronzer, two are blushes. So I have these two blushes already, but I need to toss them because I've had them for many, many years. And it's just time to start using new ones. So the first color I grabbed is this one. It's called Warm Berry. Oh boy, that reflection. But what's nice is it's coming out true to color on the screen. Let's see if I can take this out of the packaging and show you a little bit better what it looks like. Their blushes are so nice, you guys. They apply beautifully. They're buildable. Clearly they last forever because of the ones that I have, I've had forever. The color didn't um, spoil or anything like that. They come in this little kind of round compact. And it has the name of the blush on the back of the packaging. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but it does have the name of the blush in the back of the packaging. And this is what it looks like. It's a really beautiful red color. Uh, let's see. Why do I always do this? Why do I always want to swatch stuff and then not have anything to like wipe it off with? <laughs> That's the color right there. And like I said, it's really, it's buildable. And you can shear it out, and it's just, it's really quite lovely. It's very, um, what is it? It's very complimentary of my skin tone. So I'm really glad that they had this, and now I have a replacement. And then the other one is, I believe it's called Toasted Almond. And that is likely, if you see me in a blush in person, it's got to be the Toasted Almond. So that's this one. Let me take it out of the package. I don't know what I'm doing with all this light reflection stuff, but let me show you what it looks like. Come on. Come on. Boy, they want to sell it to you, but they don't want you to pull it out of the package. It's a paper package, for heaven's sake. What could it be stuck on? Ah! Okay, there we go. That's better. All right, so this is what the shade looks like. It's beautiful. It's this lovely terracotta brown color, and it's coming up pretty well on camera. Um, it's, it's so beautiful. Here, I'm going to swatch this one too. And this is what it looks like. Do you see that? It's so beautiful. It's really, like, probably... One of the most beautiful blushes that I've ever worn. It completely complements my skin tone. It's not overbearing. It goes well with any look. 
it is buildable but it's just it gives you this really lovely flush so if your skin tone is even similar like even similar to mine a little bit you should definitely try this out and the price point's ridiculous i think these are like i think these are like less than five bucks or something or maybe they were eight bucks but either way these are definitely comparable to mac so for the price of you know less than half of a mac blush i think that's worth it the third thing i grabbed i've never had before and this is the bronzer they're all baked by the way this is the flawless impeccable so it caught my eye when i was grabbing for the blushes so i thought maybe i would try this out as well and <laughs> some stuck in the pack too this is what it looks like there you go it's definitely a bronzer it's bronzy but it's not super deep like it doesn't have as much brown in it as i would think or expect a bronzer to have it's got a lot of gold in it too so that's something to consider if you're looking at it right now it looks like it's coming up pretty true to color on the camera um let's swatch this one I'm gonna have to get something to wipe my fingers why do i always do this you guys so that's what the bronzer looks like right there like I said, you can see it's really very like golden. And then this is what it looks like on my skin. So we'll see how it works. It looks to me like less of a bronzer and more of a, it's very coppery. It's like super coppery. So we're gonna see, we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. I'm sure I'll be able to finesse it into something fun. So yeah, I grabbed those three. And then for Black Radiance, I also grabbed these, which I've never seen before. And I thought it would be fun to try something new. So I went ahead and grabbed the Lid Glitz Eye Appeal. That's, I guess, the name of the line. So these look to me like they are liquid eyeshadows. Let's see if I can hold it up for you so you can see them. I'll hold up two at a time. How's that? So there's this emerald green and then this black. But the black has the black has some kind of gold reflect that is not picking up on the camera at all. But there's something in it that makes it a little more golden. So that's this one. And then the color is black tie and then for the green one it's called money maker and that's what that looks like which is definitely coming up more true to color on camera this is really beautiful it looks like it's going to be a very fun shade to try out and then i also grabbed the what is this called the other two had the name on the bottom, but this one has a number, 1320078. And this is a gold, but it's more of a, um, not an antique gold, but it's definitely like a deeper gold. And that's what that looks like. And this one doesn't even have a sticker on the bottom. Oh, here we go. So there's a sticker on the side of it. This one is called A-Lister, and it is a pink. It's like a cooler toned pink. I say cooler toned because it looks to me like it has silver reflex in it. Let's see what this one is called. This one also has a sticker on the side. Okay, so this one is called Celebrity, this other one. All right, so I'm going to try those out. And these are from Elf. And they are definitely a repurchase. Well, not a repurchase in the sense that I've already had these four shades. But they're a repurchase in the sense that I have four of these now, I think. And I love the way that they perform. So this is the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. And they come in these really nice little... Let me show you what it looks like. Because I, I like the packaging. I think it's very sleek. Elf was very clever in how they made their packaging for this product too because 
in the box if you just kind of compare it <laughs> that's the actual size and this is the box that it comes in so yeah I don't know is it deceptive marketing who knows uh, this color though is flirty birdie and it's pink because I love pink but it's peachier than um, a typical pink let me swatch this for you so you guys can see what I'm talking about you know the Stila ones the Stila sparkly ones I have those too but that's what these look like I'll do the swatch here can you see that it's like a wet foiled shimmery glittery yeah this is uh this is definitely my style I love this kind of stuff it's so girly and pretty and feminine and yeah so I repurchased these because they're really nice to use as a topper so if you're gonna do a shadow and you want to kind of zhuzh it up a bit make it look cute you can tap you can tap this little wand you know in the place where you want the glitter to be and then you can take your finger and you can just kind of tap it out a little bit so it's not super intense and it stays on all day I haven't had any issues with um, fallout from the glitter like I have with the Stila ones with the let me see if I can grab the one that I'm talking about because I keep referring to it uh, here we go so these Stila ones they're called what are they called the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows these I really really love a lot this one is in Enchantress and you can see it's got a very similar wand but first of all they dry out quickly and then second of all as far as the glitter is concerned there's like a lot of fallout when I go to use these so you know after it's kind of dried down a little bit I can see glitter on my cheeks and then that's this one right here you can see there's a ton more kind of chunkier glitter so these are more of um, making like a look whereas the elf ones are a lot more practical you can wear these out and go do stuff versus wearing the Stila which I feel is more of um, kind of a dramatic you're trying to make a statement for more of pictures or videos or something versus the pragmatic I want to wear this look out and wander around without having glitter on my cheeks so yeah I really like these little ones from elf they're awesome I think they were let me not lie I think they were only a couple bucks they're really inexpensive so that's why I grabbed four in total so the other shades that I grabbed are disco queen this one is a frosty blue silver color um, copper pop because I think copper looks really nice on my skin it's very complimentary and then this one is called bling bling which is just a very hard super icy silver which is gonna look cool with like a blue or something um I grabbed two other things from elf the first being yeah I keep looking in the box like did I forget anything I've never seen this before it's called a no budge shadow stick and again I grabbed copper but look at the packaging it's really metallic um I don't know I've never seen this before I didn't even know they sold anything like this so I thought okay oh no oh hold on okay so here's the thing you guys if you do buy this don't try to pull it from the top apparently there's a little I don't know if you can see this let's see if I can show you there's a little sleeve right here you got to take that black piece and pull that out first just like with the other little sparkly dealy bob so you got to pull that out then you can pull out the little pen let's hope I didn't screw that up by shoving the top back on there let's see what it looks like oh I didn't break it yay go me okay so let's see let's watch it right here Ooh. okay can you see that that is not at all what I thought it would look like it's got a lot of um, I don't know it's got a lot of gray in it for something that was called copper and it certainly is picking up on camera kind of like I'm seeing it with the purpley undertone and it's incredibly soft 
So you know the um, Laura Mercier caviar sticks? It's soft like that. Like, we're going to have one over here somewhere. Caviar stick. It's soft like those, like these, these things. The, I don't know if you can see that, but the Laura Mercier ones. So just be careful if you're going to be using it. Try to um, apply it with a very light hand. Just glide it across because I can tell that it's going to be very easy to break. <laughs> Oops. Um, the other thing I grabbed from e.l.f. is the Power Grip Primer because I'm that girl and I wanted to hop on the hype train along with everybody else and see exactly how this stuff works. Now, I bought another one. <laughs> <laughs> I was really impatient. I had placed an order on Ulta. It still is not here. And I thought, okay, I, I actually, maybe it is here, but I thought I really want to try this out and I didn't want to wait. So when I went in store, I happened to see it and I grabbed it then. So now I have two of them. And I grabbed a Wet n Wild color icon, the newer ones, the little five pan ones, these new ones. The reason I only grabbed one is I really love Wet n Wild, the color icon collection, but I know that this is the new formula and I've heard kind of mixed reviews about the new formula and I thought I'm not going to waste my money on something that may or may not work. So I'm going to give this one a try. The one that I grabbed is called My Lucky Charm and this is what the colors look like. We have like a green, we have kind of a antique gold, this sort of turquoisey color and two lighter colors. And if I do like the formula, then I will go back and I'll grab some of the other ones. But for now, um, we're just going to try it out. We'll see how it goes. The last thing that I grabbed at Fred Meyer is this Revlon Color Stay Combination Oily Foundation. This is the matte finish. I wanted to get the natural finish, but they didn't have it. The color that I grabbed is number 510 Pecan. I don't know if this is going to be my color exactly. It, it looks as close as I could possibly get it when I was in store. So we'll see if it's a little bit too dark or if it's a little bit... Yeah, it might be a little bit too dark, but not by much. So I think I can probably finesse it. By mixing it with something else but I just wanted to grab a new foundation because I'm probably going to be cleaning out a lot of my I don't have a lot of foundations but I'm going to be cleaning out like my foundations and things like that with all the other declutters so if you haven't seen it I do have declutter videos you guys check them out I'm just going through my whole collection and just kind of wiping it out but enough of my rambling that is the haul from Fred Meyer I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have picked up any of these items or you tried them before and had success or you thought there was some kind of tip or trick that we all should know about when using them, could you please leave a comment below so that we have an idea of like how to make these products work best for us. Thank you so much in advance and thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here and I will talk to you soon. Take care.